is fast for getting more and more expensive. So for context, the idea of McDonald's to buy a popular hot dog is only been open 24 hours around me. I just order my usual, you know, one double quarter pound of meal, upsize large fries, upsize coke. But when I go to pay, right? What the? F the meal costs twelve ten. Since when is it so expensive? Fast food is supposed to be cheap and convenient, but is it getting more and more expensive in Singapore? To answer that question, I decided to do my own research. I went to nine popular fast food chain restaurants and look at how much their most popular meals cost, then compared to the prices five years ago. After a long, long day of walking and collecting my data, I found that yes, fast food definitely gotten more expensive. Most meal options I looked at had at least a 10 to 20 percent price increase since 2019. An expensive meal, for example, went from seven dollars to eight thirty which is a 19% increase. KFC's two-piece chicken meal, which cost $7.95 before, is now at 80, that's a 23% jump. Subway's six-inch roasted chicken breast sub meal cost $8.30, which is 22% more than before. And even if you go for something vegetarian, like the six-inch veggie delight sub meal, it is charging $6.20, a 24% jump. Arnold's whole spring plate meal saw the highest increase, going from $14.90 to $21.30 which is a staggering 43% jump. Overall, most of these fast food meals cost around $6 to $15 now, when it was only $4.50 to $10 just five years ago. So, why are prices going up so much? Number one, marketing strategy. Over the years, some fast food brands have shifted its marketing strategy away from aggressively promoting cheap prices such as super value $5 meals, which are $5 every day, all day, to make value lunch. It's every day savers menu. Seasonal food based promotions such as McDonald's Chicken McCrispy and KFC's Bakwa Chicken. Some fast food brands have also priced their items higher than competitors to position themselves as premium and introduce differentiating concepts. This approach justifies the higher prices by convincing consumers they are paying for better quality. It also indicates that fast food brands are shifting towards a younger target audience who typically are willing to spend more. This explains McDonald's signature collection in the late 2010s, which includes the Buttermilk Crispy Chicken Burger and Burger King's Octopus Selection, which put emphasis on higher tier ingredients like Angus Beef and Shrimp Loin Steak, all of which are priced just slightly higher than the regular menu. Or the rise of Korean fried chicken brands such as Danae Chicken, Jinja Chicken, and BHC, all of which price slightly higher than the more accessible other competitors. Number two, rising rentals. Island wide, retail rental rates have been steadily rising since the pandemic. In city spots like Orchard, rent has been consistently on the high end, averaging $396 per square meter and will likely go higher. Meanwhile, more rental rates in heartland places like Tempe and Yishun are predicted to increase faster. In fact, some malls have their rental rates going up higher than pre-COVID, with some tenants being quoted an increase of 30%. Rising rental prices could mean that these costs are being passed on to the customers instead, leading to higher food prices. Besides rental, other operational costs has also gone up, which leads me to number 3. Inflation low. 9% GST. Okay, it seems you just call it inflation, but what exactly does it mean? Inflation refers to a general increase in prices for goods and services. When inflation is high, the prices for goods will also increase at a faster rate. A small amount of inflation, about 2% a year, is considered healthy for the economy. But Singapore has been through a lot these past few years. Ukraine is now a nation at war. My fellow Singaporeans, stay home, stay safe. A logistical nightmare. Yep. Things have calmed down now, but inflation rate has spiked during the pandemic years. So now everything, the cost of shipping, gas, and electricity have all gone up. It's no wonder that prices for fast food is all rising too, when companies are just trying to maintain their profit margin. At the end of the day, these price hikes probably only affect you if you eat a lot of fast food. But if you are craving for some burger and fries, maybe there are ways to put their wallet. Some Beijing fast food restaurants run on a franchising model, which let franchisees decide on their own pricing. This is why there are differences in menu prices across various McDonald's locations. In 2023, a Reddit user mapped out the prices of a Big Mac meal across Singapore, which ranged from $6.90 to $8.65. That's almost a $2 price difference for exactly the same thing. Factors for pricing may vary, but it usually includes food for traffic, surrounding environment, popularity of the outlet, and more. Typically, the cheapest McDonald's outlets belong to the school campuses, while others in the city charge slightly more than those in the heartlands. A Big Mac meal in Dubai outlet, for example, is 30 cents cheaper than Gun's Five cents more expensive than the outlet in Tamas and Pauly. So looking for the best possible deal for your favorite fast food restaurants, Maybe do your own research and look for cheaper outlets. Or, you know, maybe just offer type of meat and rice instead. Now that's my happy place. Okay, that's a wrap. Hey, man, girl, okay. Uh, Burger King, ah. Bro, we literally did a video about fast food. Can't see. Any other thing?
know what? I'm ordering uh, four finger. You want anything? <sighs> okay, good. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So hi, everyone. I am WWE Champion, the Singapore Dragon, Kurt Day. Okay, so uh, I just show you a video from Mothership. Okay, so uh, the video is about is fast food getting more and more and more expensive. Okay, the answer definitely is yes, yes, yes. Okay, so uh, for me, uh, usually I only uh, eat fast food uh, whenever there is a new menu. Okay, because the new menu, if you know it, uh, then later on you want to eat, right, will be no more. Okay, so uh, example, uh, usually the new menu, right, okay, usually I will try only one time. Okay, I won't try the second time because it's very very expensive. Okay, because if you go to coffee shop, okay, and then you buy a uh, uh, hobby hood, okay, or fried meat, you know, then you put some fish cake or maybe you put some otter or some chang chang, some sausage, right? Okay, so one hobby hood, okay, and one sausage, okay, uh, maybe cost three dollar plus only. Okay, well, you go eat fast food restaurant, okay, it's very, very expensive, okay, so, uh, it's more than like, what, $12, $13, $14, okay, uh, I think the thing is what, uh, they want to call what, uh, is it Pai Pai, ah, Pai Pai, okay, Pai Pai, I think there's, there's some menu, right, it's still, uh, below $10, or the non-zone silver, uh, non-zone silver also got like $9.95, okay, uh, but it's still, of course, consider more expensive than like uh, Chabio and all these uh, Okay, so uh, most burger, most burger is very very expensive. Okay, and the this uh, the quantity is very very little. Okay, so I got tell my friends. Okay, uh, the example like wow, most burger uh, expensive, and then the the quantity is is very very little. Okay, so that time I go eat most burger, and the most burger staff ask me how how is it got any feedback. Okay, and then I feedback say that uh, the food is good, the food is nice. Okay, but the quantity is not. Uh, how do I say? Uh, maybe for a lady, uh, you eat is okay lah. But for a man like me, right, eat away maybe it's not full. Okay, it's not enough. Okay, so KFC, uh, it's expensive, but you eat away you will feel full. Okay, but anyway, right, uh, this fast food uh, restaurant, uh, you cannot eat every day. Okay, unless you are witch. Unless you are billionaire, unless you are billionaire, then you can morning eat fast food, okay? Then your your morning your breakfast you eat fast food, okay? Lunch you eat fast food, dinner you eat fast food, okay? Unless you are billionaire, then you can do it, okay? Because uh, imagine, okay? One meal, okay? One meal, let's say, is like uh, $14, okay? Then, uh, one day how much, you, okay? If you three meals, you eat fast food, okay? That will cost like, how much? Uh? Uh, almost like more than $45, ah! Really. Ah, okay. So, uh, how often do you eat fast food restaurant? Do you eat at fast food restaurant? Okay. So share uh, on this video, okay, your experience, okay, uh, whether do you, okay, like to go to eat at fast food restaurant, okay. And if you go to fast food restaurant, right, which fast food restaurant do you like to go the most? Okay. So for me, actually, uh, I will go to. Many many types of fast food as well, okay, whenever there is new menu. Okay? Oh it's too issue, issue, issue. So thank you very much for watching this video. Be able to click like on this video, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye bye.